Sí, padre. Sure enough. I was tempted to say 40 years ago I was only born, <laughs> but our, our brothers let the cat oh, I'm sorry. out of the bag. You're all right. On um, behalf of our, our own minister, Dr. Brown, the minister of the session, committee and congregation of the Martyrs Memorial Free Church, <coughs> we say congratulations to you on reaching uh, 40 years. It's a long time. I was in my twenties then, amen. I know they look twenty, but I can't help it. But listen, great thing to be saved. Amen. Great thing to know Christ as Savior. Amen. Want to leave a verse of scripture? You need to look it up. It's found in Psalm forty, and verse two. He, that is the Lord Jesus Christ, brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock. And establish my goings. The first few words of verse 3 says, And he had put a new song in my mouth, Amen. even praise oh, unto our God. Mm -hmm. I was born in the Grosvenor Road. The church I went to never preached the gospel, never told me that a soul to be saved, that Jesus loved me. At ten and a half, I moved with my mum and dad to Seymour Hill in Dunmurray. Again, I went to another denominational church there. Once again, never heard the gospel of redeeming grace. You know, as you start to grow up and start work and mix up with the fellas and the house and the state, wasn't long did I get into the things of the world to smoke, to drink, to gamble. And to my shame, many's a time, I stole money of my father for drink and for cigarettes. But there was two people had a great bearing in my life. One was my grandmother, Granny Davidson. She was saved when she was nine and she had died when she was over 90. I always remember Granny Davidson in a wheelchair in her last lot of years in the Braid Valley Hospital in Ballymena. Lovely Christian lady. She couldn't do much for the Lord, but she prayed for her family. I was one of the ones she prayed for and she hadn't a clue the filthy road that I was going down. The next one was Brother Jimmy Owens, my next door neighbour. He had a burden for my soul and I left my house that night to see my Helen to Murray. No money to go down to the pub so we boys said go to Jimmy Owens' house next door. I had no notion of talking about spiritual things. Wasn't a bit interested. But I get in and Jimmy brought me in and we started to talk and talked about the weather and work. And our brother got an opportunity and he opened up this book and he simply witnessed to me about the things of God. I remember the tears started to flow under conviction of sin. Remember wiping it away and kissed Jimmy, saw them. The Holy Ghost knew. Amen. And I went to walk round Seymour Hill where I lived, the house of the state. There was a battle going on in my soul. The devil was saying, this is something you could get saved. See them fellas you drink with, go to the dance hall with, the gamble with. How are you going to tell him you're a Christian? But you know... I heard the still small voice of the Lord Jesus Christ saying, Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. And I went home that night, just knelt by the side of my bed, young lad at 19 years of age, on the 14th of August, 1967. All my years going to church, didn't know what to pray, but 
Jimmy Owens told me, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I just called upon him. <coughs> My breath stinking with cigarette smoke. In the twinkling of an eye, God saved the wretch such as I. I got down on my knees, a rotten, filthy sinner, and stood re on my feet redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. Amen. In the twinkling Amen. of an eye, I was born again by the Spirit of God. Amen. Saved by God's grace. Mommy, daddy tonight, granny, granda, maybe you're a great grandparent. You're praying for your family. Carry on. Keep on praying. That's right. Ronnie Davidson prayed for me. And now all my causes, a whole host of us were like the children of Israel. And one by one I saw them getting saved. The Lord. A whole lot of them were saved and gone on with the Lord. Now young people, you listen to this. People will say to you, maybe at school as you start work, listen, we drink will do you no harm. Listen, a wee cigarette, a oh, bit of gambler, what harm is it? You know that's a devil tricking you. And early in life, young people, you come to know Christ as your own and personal saviour. For about five years, I went to the Murray Free Presbyterian <coughs> Church and then a martyr. I got married and went to the martyrs and joined the martyrs memorial. Male witness. Didn't let women on it. Because you can picture them preaching. <laughs> Sorry ladies. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and get out alive. But you know. One thing the martyrs taught you. To be a soul winner. To be a prayer warrior. To be a Bible student. And I joined. The Martyrs Memorial, male witness. <coughs> and we worked all day and added on Morris Minor. <laughs> and I remember going to take a mission and bound the hens with the young fellas. And the Reverend John Todd was with me and he looked at my clock and I was hitting 70. <laughs> and it was vibrant, but you know, all around the areas, we held gospel missions. We would round the doors. We got prayer. We can round the doors. Two to three weeks of mission. Seeking to win <coughs> souls for Jesus. Amen. Then after seven years, uh, through circumstances, men called into the ministry eldership. Uh, what I said, packed in. Not, not in a bad way. The Lord has finished with us. And when I look back, there's so many ministers. There's one of them there. The Reverend David Priestley, he was one of them. <coughs> Trevor Baxter. The late Robert Omerod. He was one of them. And there's so many ministers and so many elders and committee men that were once in the male witness. Young people, I'm going to sit down now. These men have a full program. Young people, give your heart to Jesus. Amen. Let him take full control. Don't you listen to the devil's lie tonight. If you're not saved in your seat, just call upon Jesus and he'll save you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Well, we do want to thank uh, Mr. Davison for that straightforward and clear and plain word of testimony and that advice to every parent uh, that have loved ones and family members without Christ to pray on uh, for them.